Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, a very short Saturday morning TA update on Bitcoin, three other cool charts, I will keep it between 8 and 10 minutes, so let's quickly jump into the charts, because there is some amazing stuff to see on the charts over here. Yeah. This is the four hour chart, guys. Like you can see, we had this huge pump yesterday. You know, we have been talking about that red line that we need to break it all the time. And then we said, if we go to the yellow line and we break that, we can go even higher to that next yellow line. We arrived yesterday at that beautiful yellow line at 48,600. We didn't break it. We can see two um, red candles now on the four hour. Where can we fall back to? That's the question, of course. I think if we fall back, uh, we could fall back to the level of uh, 46,000. 700 uh, on the short term and even longer uh, for further away to 54,000 US dollar maybe you have to pull back like that so for me or it will be a very short pullback and then we go above that line again or it will be a longer pullback to 45,000 and then up again one of these scenarios um, is going to play out in my opinion and then we are going to go over the next level of 50k and that one is above here 53k to be exact um now you might say what did he but this is a huge pump and and after this huge pump we need to see a big retrace and will we pump any further this was already this big pump let's calculate that one and um, that one was 18.8 percent 18.8 percent let's just look a little bit back here at this pump over there this pump just to give you an indication what is possible in bitcoin so you don't Think that is the end this one was 20 percent and if we take it to the top over here then was a 24 percent pump so that's an average pump that is all possible in bitcoin and if we're going to take a little bit back more to this one over here in july just to give you an indication again from july here at the bottom um, to that first yellow line that was a 37 percent pump if we take it a little bit above to that one before that huge dump again that was in total how do you see this this was in total 43 percent pump 44 percent pump so yes bitcoin can pump 44 percent in 70 candles and then we are talking about 70 candles then we are talking about the four hour chart so just to give you an indication again um, if we would take that from here to 44 uh, percent i think i need to move a little bit in a row one time that would be here 70 candles just to give you also that indication how long it took um, that would take till the 11th of october if we would copy that move that i just showed you and then we could take it all the way to 60k so pumps in bitcoin are always possible now next chart taking too long and um, this is the day chart on the day chart we see the same we have that green line 48k uh, we need to break that you see here on the left we couldn't break it we fell down we need to break that one if we don't break it we fall down here um, to the 100 day moving average and um, that is this red line over here is it the 100 or the 200 did he? that is a 200 sorry 200 day moving average and on the bottom over here we have the 100 day moving average. so we could pull back to the 200 day 45k that same level if we don't break this resistance next chart bam weekly chart this one is going to close in one day and 16 hours um, we are closing above uh, the ema ribbon which is really positive but we need to head for this white line at the top over there at 54k and because we want to break that and then we can take it all the way like i said many times before to the top of that logarithmic growth curve which is now around 137k uh, please always remember the cme closed last friday yesterday at 48,555. so at sunday evening i think it's opening again uh, it, mostly we are trading back to the cme because we don't want to have a cme gap so that could mean on monday morning we would be again around 48,555 or even higher and then pulling back to that level let's see what happens on a beautiful saturday and a happy sunday and um, that were all those charts 
five minutes dd you're perfectly on track now let's jump in three more charts that i think are amazing to see and i want to share with you guys these are bam over here uh, this is the first one oh and, the, and then the flies start again oh my god i need to move new house new flies um this is the first one i really like that one because you can see that bitcoin is the best performing asset class of 2021 the 2021 year to date return so the profit till today is almost 50 percent the best uh, other um performing asset is commodities with 36 percent it's like not even near this one what was that mm. uh, and then we have of course um all these other assets that we can check uh, but you can see they are all underperforming if it comes to bitcoin and yes even here in the bottom where we can see precious metals and gold and <laughs> gold minus 7.9 percent peter Schiff <laughs> is still believing in gold and not believing in bitcoin I think if he keeps believing in gold, he will lose all his capital and we, he will never gain capital again. But that's my opinion. Um, you know, you can see exactly that Bitcoin is outperforming all of them. And then I found another really cool chart. This one. And um, this one, guys. Um, for, I think I found it on the Tech, tech Dev 52 again because I saw a chart of him yesterday. And this one I really like. He is saying, what if um, the first part of the cycle... So the first file cycle um, was a copy of the 2013 run, but was a little bit over FOMO because of the institutional buying in a Tesla. So um, that, that cycle was because of that over foaming and looking more like 2013 run. But then the second run was is looking like a 2017 run again. He's also stating, be uh, careful, these letters and numbers are not Elliott waves, but if the 2013 run ended over there and we are now copying 2017 then we can see that the a's and the b's those two tops are exactly the same that the dip over there is exactly the same the one in july then we had one two three four five tops again exactly like 2017 a dip exactly like 2017 and our candle going up and um, if we would copy this run guys um, we would end up somewhere over there at 137,000 us dollar or even higher really cool chart and yes something very important i know that doesn't have anything to do with trading um, but this is the lightning network performance and why is that very important because uh, the lightning network is making it possible for countries like now el salvador and many others to use bitcoin in a fearless uh, very fast way and as we can see the lightning network is growing tremendously the capacity capacity that one has been only going up the number of nodes has been tremendously going up the number of channels all going up and here the channel size is also going up so that means more nodes more decentralization more people using the night -like network yes this is going to grow um, into this new layer it is already uh, existing of course but the layer on the bitcoin blockchain they will make sure that transactions will be very fast lightning fast and very cheap feeless like now for example strike is doing um, for uh, el salvador and many other countries so believe me this is going to be very important yes bam that was everything for today short video nine minutes i hope you really enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about the charts what do you think about bitcoin are we going to break 50k very soon or do you think pull back first to 45k or even lower thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again oh yeah later today a dutch ama yes i'm doing a dutch ama i don't know what time i yet but some are announced me. Thanks for watching. Bam. Well, she got a way to make my